Hello again. I'd like to introduce you to another one of my necklaces. This one's a little simpler than some of the others that I've introduced you to, but nevertheless, it still has a story all of its own. This one is called Joyeuse, and Joyeuse is named after Charmaine's sword. So the reason being, the key piece here, if you have a look closely, I don't know if I can, if I can move that and you can see it, it's actually part of what I think was the top of a bottle. And when I got it, this part here was incredibly crumbly. It was in amongst um, a pile of marine debris that I was given by the council. And I had to sand it back to find the original hard plastic that was underneath. If you have a look here, there must have been some sort of hard, um, I don't know what it was, stored in the bottle. And I just couldn't remove that. So it's formed part of what is now the dagger shape or the sword shape of this necklace. So this is the main feature. And I started, I, this sat for ages. Uh, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. But it was too big and chunky to go on my fine braided necklaces. And in the end, it made sense that I put it on some recycled rope like this. So if you have a look, this re recycled rope is a little bit furry. And you can see it's stained there along there, cleaned it, gurned it, scrubbed it. I couldn't get those stains out. And then I decided, well, that tells part of the story about Joyous anyway. So then it was a case of how do I attach this to this rope cord? So what I've done, I don't know if you can see that, I've managed to make a hole in the top of the plastic and put a stainless steel jump ring on to hold it in place. But that looked a little bit ugly. So what I decided to do was wrap it in some marine um, rope, a little bit of frayed rope, and also, too, a little bit of cast netting there. And it's been stitched in place. And to just give it that little bit of a sense of a hilt or a handle is this quirky piece of, a piece of a shell that I found. It's been stitched in place with a few little seed beads. And then um, here are some very, very fine tendrils of the fishing line that I used to stitch it in place. So Joyous, it took me a while to come up with the name Joyous because I kept thinking it's a knife, it's a, it's a dagger, it, it just has that shape. And then I just did some research, came across this na name and I thought, well, it actually suits. So there you go, meet Joyous. Joyous is also another necklace, like all of my necklaces, that basically incorporates marine debris and tries to pass on the message about conservation and protecting our oceans and seas and trying to reduce the amount of plastics that we use. So meet Joyous. I hope you like her or him or it. Have a lovely day. Bye.